In this video, I want to talk about adding a menu strip, um, which is this basically this thing up here, File, Edit, View, where you can add a little drop-down menu with things you can select. And to do this, first we want to create main menu one. I'm going to say um, var main menu one equals new um, main menu strip. Or no, you're just going to say menu strip. So var main menu one equals new menu strip. And then you're going to say main menu one dot name equals main menu one. Then at the bottom when you have um, control, when you have the add control section, I'm going to this dot controls dot add main menu one. Now if we were to compile this, as you can see you have this, it's kind of hard to see but you have this bar up here and it kind of has a little slick looking thing what you want to do is you want to to create a new item on it first we want to um, create the something um, min, um, tool strip menu it's kind of a long name so I'm just going to write TS for the name and TS file and var TS file equals new tool strip menu item like I said, it's kind of a long name. Tool strip menu item. Then ts file dot text equals um, file, and let's make the name ts file dot name equals um, ts file. And then we want to do what we want to do is we want to um, I I um. Some, I sometimes put this where it says add controls. I'll say um, main menu one dot items dot add, and then in parentheses we want to write ts file. And now if we were to compile this, right here on here now we have this button up here called file. But as you can see, nothing's in the drop down. And how we add things to the drop down is we're going to say um, TS file dot drop down items dot add. And then in parentheses, you want the text that it's going to have in the drop down. So I'm going to make one called save. And you want to put comma null. No, um, the second, you have to have the second parameter. Second parameter is basically for an image, but we're not going to be doing images. So you're just going to write save and then comma null. And now when we run this, as you can see, I have file here, and I click it. Save is now in the drop-down menu. Now you may be wondering, if I add a thing like this, how am I going to make it do something when I click it? Well, what you can do, you can create a function. I just named this, like to name this drop down item underscore click. And this function is going to have two parameters. And it's going, the first one's going to be an, so we're going to make it sender and we're making an object. And then we're going to make E, which is going to be an event args. Now, what we want to do is we want to create a third parameter. And the third parameter is going to say drop down item click and this will make it do a function if you click it so now if we compile this again now you can click this and it will do something but currently it doesn't do anything what we're going to do is we're going to make, just make it say message box dot show the file was saved Now compile this again, run it. Now here's our tool strip. We click file and we click save, and it says the file was saved. But what if we have two items, and I make one named open, and they both lead to the same function, right? So they both would do the same thing. Let's 
So save and open both say the file was saved. How can I make them do something different? Well to do this you want to create a switch statement and um, switch statements this is in normal JavaScript you should know this but it's basically lets you select a variable and do things based on what it's equal to. So if I want to make I'm going to make a switch and it's going to be sender.txt. So it's going to get the text of whatever item you clicked. And now we're going to make this switch statement. And we're going to say um, case save. So basically if you press save, then we're going to say um, message box that show the file was saved. Let me see if I can scroll down a bit. Um, there we go. So the file was saved and then break. And now we're going to say case open message box dot show the file or let's just say please select a file to open. And then break. And now it will take the text of whatever you click and make a case, um, a switch statement. And if you if the text was save it's going to do this stuff if it was um, open it's going to do this stuff now let's compile it now let's run it and as you can see file save the file was saved open please select a file to open so as you can see this is how you can make a basic um, a very basic tool strip menu you can add as many items going across as you want and add as many drop downs as you want